We rolling. All right, YouTubes. What's going on, YouTube? You boys, to get in there, checking in on a quick little update on the dunk. Oh, uh, what we got going on? It's part two. I lost a lot of footage with this dunk. Um, part two. What we got going on? Got the motor pulled. I had footage of that lost. I lost a lot of footage. Long story. Uh, some stuff was caught with the GoPro, so fortunately we got that footage. Uh, all the phone footage we lost, so I'm about to go back and go over, talk over a few things with y'all later in the build. I'm not gonna worry with it right now. Probably do that on the finale video. Walk back through all the things that I missed. Uh, in the middle of the build, what we got here, we got the firewall all cleaned up, soaked it down with other cleaner. Purple power, engine degrees, I've got it all clean, spiffy. Like the old folks, it's all spiffied up. Oh, uh, got all the oil off the frame. I think I see a little bit right there. I don't know if that dirt or what, or just a discoloration of the frame. But frame not getting painted right now. Uh, frame's getting brushed on with the town cold mono coat on the frame. That's what's getting on the frame and on the inner fender wells and back firewall all those pretty much clean metal pieces just getting town cold classic matte black um i'm gonna spray a seal on it first so i can have a nice clean finish uh i'm gonna spray a seal on it first that'll kind of uh you know fill in all this unevenness you know you got paint here and it's metal here just to fill in all that I'm gonna go two coats of uh, two coats of Town Coat High Build Primer. Mix four to one as a primer, 10% reducer. Depends on your gun. If you got like a, a big 2.5, 2.0 tip, you don't need to reduce it. Um, if you want, just throw a little splash and a little teaspoon just for the kind of help flow a little better, and you can lay it down nice and smooth. Uh, you can do that as well, but you can also make this as a sealer a 2k sealers four to one to two i think four to no four to one to one four to one to one makes it a sealer i gotta double check the spec book on that don't hold me to it i i correct it in the editing of this video i'm gonna spray the 5311 first uh, we also have a 5310 is the gray then we have a 53, I forgot the part number. It's direct, it's, um, it's a metal primer, uh, direct to metal primer, you can, I mean direct to rust. It's a direct to rust primer, you can spray it on rust. Like you got a rusty something, you sand it down, you spray this on it, it kills the rust. It's, it's proven to work for like 10 plus years. I think it's a little bit more, but we just gonna go with 10 years. Uh, that's on the, the direct to rust primer. I forgot the part number. I throw it in the description as well. When I'm, I throw it in the editing of this video. The correct part number. If you're interested in getting some rust primer, uh, and um, it's a classic matte black. I'm gonna spray this first. Four to one to one. Two coats. Then I'm gonna spray this matte black, and we're gonna get this firewall nice and pretty i have to hit inline tube up get this uh line here and that's about it and cut those mounts off i should have cut them off now and keep down dust but it'd be okay uh i might go ahead and stick the wrench through the through the bottom of the frame and get to the bolts i see i might just do it old-fashioned i might just cut them off with the grinder i see and get the new ones installed and um, we can go ahead and drop this puppy because I need to double check for the AC fitment, the bottom compressor. I don't think it's gonna work with the mounts because the mounts we got, they're not adjustable, but it's always, don't hurt to double check. But uh, anywho, uh, I fade back. when we get some color on this thing, over and out. What's up, YouTube? We faded back. Uh, got the primer, I mean the sealer laid on there, nice and smooth, nice and pretty, man. Nice and pretty, nice and pretty. That's a little pitted in the metal. Uh, nice and pretty. About to smash on this uh 
Matt Black fade back over nothing. Focus, focus, focus. All right, you two, we faded back. Got the uh, time code Matt Black finish. Uh, when it when it uh dries, it's gonna it's gonna take some of the shine away. Uh, really not that shiny. I can live with that if it stays right there. But if it if it uh if it uh fades back just a little bit, that'll be perfect, perfect. But I can live with this right here. So uh I fade fade back with y'all uh we're gonna get the car back in the lab and I fade back y'all with another update. Uh but the time code matte black, yeah I like it, I'm feeling it. It's uh some nice stuff. This is the first time I'm using this product. They always coming out with different products daily. And this is this is one of the products that came out with. I'm a I'm a few products behind, but uh like always everything is great over there. Time code. You wanna get a price um of the mad black? You wanna get a price of the mad black? Message me and email me or you can call the town code uh Tammy Miller. So you seen the video on YouTube, Mr. Get in that channel. Um you wanna get some of that matte black. I sprayed it with my solder jet 5000 about 29 psi uh that was good enough for the solder jet and for what i was spraying here um it was hvlp probably got it pretty smooth for the say that's uh uh all right youtube fade back weather getting crappy out here uh fade back over and out Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Get in there, checking in. Next day late on this uh, G bottom. I'm sorry. Oh, man. So I used to G by this, man. This Donk uh, engine bay. Got it all. Matte black, town code matte black, man. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm feeling it. I like it. I, it's perfect, man. It's perfect. Yesterday, I rushed off the horn with y'all. It started drizzling. So I had to take the, uh, the plastic that I got over the car and fold it over folded over the uh engine bay like a like a like a burrito so i could protect my uh, my little paint job uh it just started light it wasn't even a drizzle i guess you want to say a little misty a little misty rain uh so forgot that um now we're going to paint the i'm trying to see i'm going to paint the uh frame here uh guess i'm probably just going to paint this area right here where the motor going to drop and all the rest of this I can get after after uh, we get the motor dropped in. After I get the motor dropped, in. I mean after I can get the rest of it when I get the uh, work with me on YouTube. I'm sorry. Um, when I start on the front end, when I get the front end stripped down, uh, it's all cleaned up in the inside. So I just need to uh, get in there and paint it. Oh well, I ain't gonna be able to get back there. So I probably paint this. Uh, cross member here, K member, whatever you want to call it. Focus, 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 focus. Probably paint back there where the lower, where the lower control line bolt up at back there with my finger at, and just get it all, get that painted up with the mono block and um, I'm sorry, mono Tamco mono coat, and uh, that's it, man. Came out nice, shine, nice sheen. Real nice. I was able to get the gun and get all in there. So when you're looking down in there, it look good to the eye. Uh, can't complain, man. Look good to me. Uh, for, for the little prep that I did, scuffed it and uh, sprayed some. I uh, scuffed it. I sprayed Town Co. Uh, adhesion, Bulldog adhesion, and uh, sprayed it, man. Sprayed uh, two coats of sealer. And then the paint and I just like I said I sprayed the sealer because some spots was rusted and it was uneven and that, that sealer really did help smooth it out yesterday my my uh paper touch right there uh when I was folding it over like a burrito but came out good man I'm happy with it it's gonna look real good with the new uh got a new brand new brake booster I wonder if I should have painted that as well uh I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I should have painted that, but I mix up a little bit and paint it. I see. And um, 
new gear, new uh, master cylinder. I gotta get some new lines, some new stainless steel lines. So all that's gonna look real clean. That I'm gonna do these. Oh, listen, uh, I'm gonna redo this and uh, I forgot what you call it. Uh, the net, the net material. I forgot what you call it. And uh, we're gonna try to have it looking real nice. I gotta drill a hole for the harness. I haven't quite made my mind on what I'm gonna come at with the harness shit. Um, I don't know. They got a hole right there. I don't know what that's for. Uh, I didn't take nothing loose right there. So I might see if I can come through right there with the harness. And so we'll do. So if it's long enough. If not, I'll hide it back here up under the fender or something. But anyway, we'll get to that later. Um, Painted up top of here, up here as well. Got that nice gloss, nice machine. It was a little rush right here, so I, I had scuffed it. I could have sanded it, but it wasn't even worth the trouble, man. Uh, this, I mean, it is what it is. It's an engine bay. I mean, it really wasn't worth spending days worth of work. I mean, so if it was a show car, I would got this whole thing sandblasted. Uh, 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 hydro, not hydro. Uh, what it's called a uh, wet blast with the water in the sand i'd have got this whole thing done nice and smooth primed it blocked it if this was a show car it's not a show car but it's gonna be a nice piece but for what it is i think it came out nice uh, so you boy must get in there over and out